Maybe I'm just being overly optimistic, but it finally seems like there's light at the end of the tunnel and we might actually someday get out of this pandemic. The past 18 months has really highlighted a couple of things for me. Number one, just how much we take the small things in life for granted. And number two is that change is inevitable. I actually started this YouTube channel as I was working towards becoming self-employed during one of the hardest years of my life. And I don't think it's a coincidence that it also ended up being one of the best decisions I've ever made. I'm super critical of myself and I hate looking back at that first season of my vlog that I did purely because I filmed it during one of the hardest times of my life where I was working like 18 plus hours a day and constantly burnt out on a weekly basis. Now I think those videos are terrible but they tell a story and it shows just how far I've come in such a short space of time. All I wanted to do was start somewhere being inspired by the people who I followed for years on YouTube. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another video. I was just at the peak of my hike here having a little coffee with some Oreos. We all deal with a lot of issues. We all struggle to stay motivated to create. We are both very aware how ridiculous that comparison test is going to be. I did see somebody who said, you know, you look at the big YouTubers and you see the quality of the videos and you think I'll never be that good. If you're feeling discouraged or worried about starting, like literally take your favorite YouTuber and go back to the beginning and start there because you'll, you'll find it relatable. We literally just got dropped off on an island from a dude I've never met until now. I wanted to explain to you, the audience, exactly how I make my vlogs. Like what I see as the recipe for creating these videos. Uh, so yeah, sometimes it just helps to hit the record even though maybe you're not feeling it in that moment. That's okay, that happens. Just hit that record button, go for it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. I think where things have been so hard over the past couple of years, it's really helped me to see things more clearly though. Just recently, I've been thinking back on when I was first deciding to move out of my house and rent it out, which was just over a year ago now, to then build this cabin which I've been living in. And I didn't really have much of a plan except I wanted to work for myself and I wanted to become completely debt free. So I knew I could then live life on my terms and go see some of the world. Now, it was a pretty big scary leap and I was definitely nervous about it until I had a conversation with my mum and dad. And they basically said to me, if you build it and you move in and you don't like it, how hard would it be just to move back home, get a job and go back to what you were doing anyway? And that gave me a lot of comfort in helping me realise that it wouldn't be that hard to go back and do what I was doing in the first place. But if I never tried, if I never had even taken that first step towards something I knew I wanted, I'd probably always wonder what it was I was missing out on. I definitely had some of those feelings when I was considering quitting my job and becoming fully self-employed. It felt like a really big scary leap, but as long as you leave your job on good terms, most of the time it's not going to be too hard to go back to doing the job you were doing in the first place. Plus there's the fact we told ourselves that 9 to 5 jobs are stable and secure but I think the past couple of years especially has shown us that the stability of those 9 to 5 jobs is really only perceived and any stability is really only perceived because anything can change at any given moment. 
Well, according to the World Travel and Tourism Council, the U.S. is going to lose more than 9 million jobs this year due to the... For many, government support has been the difference between hope and despair. The impact of the pandemic continues to affect jobs. The latest figures show that the U.K. unemployment rate has risen to its highest level for more than three years. The unemployment rate at 4.5 percent is at a three-year Businesses are up against it. Jobs are being lost. And a hard the stories and impact different from person to person. I knew that getting laid off was hard, but wow, I did not know how hard that was. Jobless has jumped and is set to surge further in the coming months. I'm not saying that nine to five jobs are bad. You know, for for most people, there's a lot of advantages and upsides to a typical nine to five job, but. I think the past couple of years especially has shown us that even those nine to five jobs that feel stable can be taken away at any moment. So if there's a change you want to make, you know, a dream you have, something you want to chase after, why not go for it? If there's something you know you want in life and you want it that badly, why not be the one to make the change? Instead of waiting around for change to happen, because either way, change is going to happen and it could completely transform your life, just like it did for me. I still don't really know where I'm going to be in six months' time. I don't really have a solid plan for the future, but just like everything else in life, it's all about the journey, not the destination. And at the end of the day, this moment is all we really have. you've hung around till now thanks so much for watching it means the world to me um, I hope you've enjoyed this mini cabin build series that I've made and maybe it will inspire some of you to get out there let go of the things that don't serve you and start having your own adventures if you're building a cabin or any kind of tiny home you know it could even be a van or something you know I'd love to hear about it so feel free to drop a comment below and uh, until the next time take care I'll see you soon.